While there's the stereotype that horror movies are the most dramatically undemanding genre for actors, that's actually far from the truth. Sure, a garden variety slasher flick generally won't ask much of its cast of central meat puppets, but horror has also proven to be fertile ground for actors to deliver daring and totally unexpected performances. More than a carnival of blood and guts, the horror genre can serve as a canvas for filmmakers and actors to explore the darker aspects of the human condition, such as trauma, guilt, depression, and so on. While it's a continued shame that the Academy largely still ignores incredible dramatic performances in horror films, namely Tony Collette in Hereditary, Lupita Nyong'o in Us, and Florence Pugh in Midsummer in recent years, that takes nothing away from the impressiveness of the work itself. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 incredible performances in recent horror movies. Number 10. Vince Vaughn, Freaky. Though most of the performances on this list are in serious horror movies, Vince Vaughn proved in Freaky that comedy horror can also provide ideal conditions for a veritable acting clinic. And boy, is this one a sleeper hit. The recent body swap slasher flick casts Vaughn as a brutal serial killer known as the Blissfield Butcher, who uses a mystical dagger in order to switch bodies with a 17-year-old girl. The remainder of this film is basically the Vince Vaughn show, carrying it through its even more formulaic moments with his go for broke performance as a teenage girl inside a middle-aged man's body, a la Jack Black in Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. As much as Freaky might be a silly, frothy horror comedy, Vaughn gives a genuinely fully committed performance that needs to operate on two levels simultaneously in order to convince the audience. Given that Vaughn's comedic cred has been rather eroded in recent years due to the glut of stale studio comedies he's appeared in, this was a major breath of fresh air. You can tell he's having an absolute blast and that feeling transpires through to the audience. Number 9. Neve Algar, Censor. Prano Bailey Bond's stunning directorial debut, Sensor, is one of the year's most unique and unforgettable horror films. Centered around Enid, a woman working for the British Board of Film Classification, during the height of the video nasties' moral panic in the 1980s. But Enid's life begins to fracture when she witnesses a graphic scene from a film which appears to mirror a devastating incident from her youth, and goes about investigating the source of the footage. Sensor is a fantastically creative horror film about both censorship and mental health, elevated substantially by Algar's outstanding performance as a woman desperate to get to the bottom of a past trauma that is still unresolved. Enid's slow descent as her journey pulls her increasingly away from reality is both fascinating and horrifying to observe. Algar's can't look away turn, commanding the screen at every moment. Number 8. Clancy Brown, The Mortuary Collection. The Mortuary Collection is one of the most shockingly consistent horror anthologies ever made, but arguably the most entertaining part of the compendium is actually the wraparound story. Here, Clancy Brown plays Montgomery Dark, a small town mortician seeking an assistant, and who interviews a young woman, Sam, for the job while regaling her with stories of those who've died strange deaths in the sleepy town of Raven's End. Brown is, of course, best known for his distinctive deep voice, which has made him a regular fixture as imposing villains in genre films, but his part as the gloomy mortician in this brilliantly crafted horror anthology is on a whole other level. With the help of phenomenal makeup effects, Brown disappears entirely into the part of Dark, giving a creepy yet ambiguous performance the full truth of which is held close until the film's twisted final moments. It would have been easy for Brown to just sleepwalk his way through this with a typical generic sinister weirdo performance, but he dares to go deeper, creating one of the most statuesque horror characters of the last year. Year, and one who basically carries the entire movie on his back. Number 7. Wunmi Mosaku and Shope Durasu, His House. Remy Weeks' stunning directorial debut, His House, stars Wunmi Mosaku and Shope Durasu as a South Sudanese refugee couple, struggling to adjust to their new life in a small English town as they come to suspect a malevolent presence lurking in their new home. The pair give equally brilliant and utterly inseparable performances as the couple Riel and Bol each subtly traumatized by their brutal past and desperate to finally be free of it. Without their deep investment in these roles, it'd be easy for an audience to lose sight of the increasingly twisty story. But even in its most heightened out there moments, the emotional plausibility of their work is never in doubt. The pair received Best Actress and Actor nominations at the British Independent Film Awards, resulting in a win for Masaku, who also went on to receive a Best Actress BAFTA nomination. Number 6. Kate Lynn Scheel, She Dies Tomorrow 
One of the strangest and most memorable horror films of recent times, She Dies Tomorrow, follows Amy, a woman who's convinced she's going to die tomorrow and spreads this fear like a contagion to those she comes into contact with. This quiet yet unsettling psychological horror couldn't have released at a much better time, capturing both the panic-stricken nature of any pandemic and the utter existential angst that's gripped the world over the last 18 or so months. But it's Caitlin Shields' brilliantly understated performance as a damaged woman struggling to reckon with her possibly impending demise that takes the film to the next level. Shield captures the subtle confusion, anger, frustration, and sadness that comes with the knowledge of one's own upcoming death, using her face to say more than words ever could. Number 5. James Badge Dale, The Empty Man the Empty Man may have tanked with critics and audiences alike upon initial release, but once it hit VOD, the ambitious horror film from David Fincher protege David Pryor won itself a sturdy cult fanbase. As gorgeously shot and narratively surprising as it is, The Empty Man wouldn't really work without another remarkable performance from the criminally underappreciated James Badge Dale. Dale stars as James La Sombra, an ex-cop investigating a missing girl who ends up stumbling upon the terrifying titular urban legend. As much as the film is centered around its brooding atmosphere, Dale's performance as a man struggling to make sense of the increasingly strange occurrences around him is absolutely first rate. While not nearly as showy as some of the more acclaimed horror movie performances of recent times, Dale's deeply internalized work lends La Sombra a believably weathered, worn down temperament, the full extent of which is only confirmed in the film's shocking final moments. Number 4. Madeline Sims Fewer Violation Perhaps no horror film released this year is more in need of a content warning than Violation, a completely ruthless, unsentimental riff on the so-called rape revenge film, which strips away the salacious gloss for something far tougher to shake. Madeline Sims Fewer, who also co-wrote and co-directed the film, plays protagonist Miriam, a troubled woman who meets up with her sister and brother-in-law at a cabin getaway. But a deeply traumatic encounter soon enough rocks Miriam to the core, and she sets about meeting out bloody revenge in the hope of overcoming her pain. But it's not a spoiler to say that Sims Fewer's deeply haunting, anguished performance is not easily shaken. Brilliantly subverting the tropes of the rape-revenge film, Violation forces the viewer to confront the grim realities of empty, violent revenge, embodied soulfully by Sims Fewer's impeccably shell-shocked turn. Whether it works entirely for you or not, the lead actress's bug-eyed expression is sure to be burned into your brain for the foreseeable future. Number 3. Lincoln Marzell, The Amusement Park no other horror movie this year is anything like The Amusement Park, which was shot in 1975 by the late, great George A. Romero, though considered lost until a print was discovered in 2017. Though Romero was originally commissioned to make the film as a PSA about elder abuse, it was eventually shelved after financiers saw the hypnotic, disturbing end result. Almost 50 years later, it's finally been released and has largely received rave reviews from genre fans, praising it as a uniquely unsettling horror and masterful posthumous swan song from Romero. Though technically rough around the edges, the amusement park sings on the strength of Lincoln Mazel, who stars as an elderly man spending the day at a hellish amusement park, where he's subjected to rampant prejudice and abuse because of his age. Incredibly, Mazel, who was already 70 years of age at the time of filming, only passed away back in 2009 at the age of 106, but it's a deep shame that he never lived to see how the film and his performance have come to be embraced. Marzell who only ever acted three times on screen, including a part in Romero's Martin the very next year, gives a truly heartbreaking performance that earns Romero's experimental horror film its screaming soul. Number 2. Rebecca Hall, The Night House Rebecca Hall's mesmerizing performance in David Bruckner's new psychological horror film The Night House is sure to be 2021's Oscar-worthy performance in a horror film that gets totally ignored by the Academy. Hall plays Beth, a woman who recently lost her husband to suicide and spends the bulk of the movie unpacking that loss while making sense of the increasingly surreal possibly supernatural, occurrences in her home. As a portrait of a devastated woman dealing with the multitude of feelings brought about by a loved one's suicide, anger, sadness, and regret, Hall commands the screen in every moment, capturing the most subtle emotions of grief in the process. It's without question the finest performance of her career to date, which is no small statement, and one which would receive major awards buzz were the Academy not so grossly biased against horror. Number 1. Morvith Clark, St. Maud 
Rose Glass's stunning directorial debut Saint Maud would be a deeply atmospheric, nerve-jangling horror film no matter who played the lead role of lonely Roman Catholic nurse Maud. But Morvith Clark's note-perfect performance elevates it from great to a genuine masterpiece. This is a carefully calibrated performance that keeps the audience guessing quite what's going to become of Clark's Maud until the film's jaw-dropping final scene, but one that bottles a very authentic sense of crushing loneliness. We're right there alongside Clark in basically every scene, and she has to carry much of the movie effectively by herself, which she does with tremendous skill. Clark's porcelain features and softly spoken demeanor belie Maud's deep well of inner torment, splayed across the screen so brilliantly as Glass progressively ratchets up the slow burn unease. For her efforts, Clark received a Best Actress nomination from the British Independent Film Awards. And that is our list. Do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other incredible performance in recent horror movies you reckon we need to know about. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. You can come say hi to me on my Twitter account if you want, where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for way more horror goodness.